We are going to take a timeout and come back with more on the other side. <laughs> Welcome back to our big broadcast. My thanks there to Alexandria Wise. And uh, we have got a tremendous guest coming up here in just a few moments here on our world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio broadcast. If you want to get a hold of us online, it is J I G G Y J H E U A R dot com. And we have a tremendous guest joining us today here on the telephone. He is fantastic. He is. Uh, Chris Berardo. Chris, welcome to the broadcast. How are you, sir? Hey, James. I'm good. Thank you. So you have got Baby Blue, which is a uh, tremendous track. We're, we're going to be talking a little bit Thank about you. this. Um, tell, tell me the, the writing process and, and what it was like to bring this track to life. Well, the writing process was easy because uh, it's, a, it's an old song, uh, it's the 50th anniversary of it, and it was written by Pete Ham and yep. uh, Big Hit yep. for Bad Finger yep. uh, back then. So, um, so writing-wise, uh, it was easy, because I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, I, 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 w I will have to say that a lot of times we, we've had musicians uh, on this program that they, they put their own spin on, uh, yeah. on, on, on some of these, and I wasn't sure if... Uh, if if you put your own spin to this, or or, or if this was uh, just no, we had that was uh, we we actually right before that we we had put out we put two singles back to back, kind of uh, generally around the sort of the pandemic time when we um, couldn't put the album out and, and we're touring. So I had a song called Somewhere Blue of my own, and we uh, we put that out and had a video for it. And then uh, just uh, uh, last week um, we put out the video for um, for Baby Blue. So that we have the blue theme going there, and uh, and that one was a cover. Like so that one is that an old song of uh, just a band that I always loved and admired so much, and uh, kind of always wanted to sing it. So we just dug in and uh, gave it a gave it a try, and hopefully, like you said, I hope we kind of put our own spin on it. Chris Berardo with us today. He joins us live here on our big program, and you can join us each and every week at 990 WBOB in Rhode Island and also internationally live in Leicester on 107.5 FM each and every Friday. And Chris Berardo back with us here on our big broadcast. And, uh, Chris, w w what's been some feedback that you've gotten on this, this version of Baby Blue that you guys have put out there? Uh, well, so far, good. I mean, like I said, it hasn't been out too long, but uh, I've, I've, it's been real nice to see how many people remember that song. And you know, it, that Badfinger is a band I loved. You never know if people are going to remember, uh, you know, even a great band like that. But I was surprised to see how many folks remember, fondly remember the band and all their hits, and uh, remember that song pretty well. And we keep hearing that we've uh, maybe done a little bit of, like I said, uh, of our own spin on it that makes it worthwhile. I hope that's true. So uh, it's just been fun for me to see uh, how many folks uh, remember it. And I think it's the kind of song that uh, might make them look into what it is that I do and write, uh, because it had, you know, there's a link there to the style of music that we play. So, uh, so I think it's, uh, it's been opening up some interesting uh, alleyways to go down there. And uh, I've been having fun just seeing how many people have the same great memories of that, of that song as, as I did. Chris Berardo joins us today here on the telephone, talking a little bit about his uh, just all of his new music, uh, some of some covers that he's doing. So, tell me about some of the other folks that you enlisted to uh, help you bring this uh, version of Baby Blue to life. Uh, yeah, it was um, actually I'd been recording with um, David Abeta, my friend and producer, who's um, a fantastic. Uh, guitar player was in the band Reckless Kelly for nearly 20 years, and he's only only just recently left that band. And uh, he produced the album that we've had in the can for a while now, and that we're hoping is going to come out very soon. And in the meantime, we just got it uh, in our minds to start creating some other singles. And I'd been going back and forth to Austin, where he's based, and uh, we'd cut my song Somewhere Blue there. And while we were doing that, we just got into a conversation one day on the on the porch about uh, about how much I loved that old song Baby Blue, and uh, so he heard it and said like, "Hey, man, that sounds like right up our alley. Why don't we take a swing at it?" And uh, in fact, he called a couple of the guys from from that old band of his, from Reckless Kelly, who are you know really one of my very favorite bands in the world, and 
and great guys. We've toured with them a lot and um, just become uh, friends with the guys. So he, he called up Jay Naz, the, the drummer from that band, and also Joe Miller, the, the bass player. Uh, and we all four just got in a room. I mean, it happened pretty quick. And uh, just got in the room and gave it a swing, and that's kind of what we came up with. It was it was it was between David's guitar playing and production style and uh, and the stuff I like. It it just seemed to kind of fit in with all four of us pretty easily, and uh, we just there it is. <laughs> now your your other uh, piece of business that you have here, uh, somewhere blue. Tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, that one preceded it, and um, that's a song that I wrote. Uh, as I said, we have a, a whole album that David and I, David produced in uh, the Reckless Kelly guys, a couple of them, and, and my band, my touring band. Uh, we, we had cut this whole album down there in Austin, and it's been on hold for various reasons for a while. So in the meantime, just wanted to put some music into the world. So I, I one of the songs I had that wasn't on the album that I had kind of lying around was this song that I... Uh, I cared about called um, Somewhere Blue and that's the thing that we just went back to Austin and started working on with David and I uh, and got um, a guy named John Shipman, a great drummer uh, from from Austin and brought him in and some people like that and, and the idea was just to while we're waiting on the album let's let's start putting out some other songs. So chronologically, it was kind of out of whack because it was after the, it's after the album that isn't out yet, if that makes any sense. But it's, um, it was just something to do. I wanted to, I wanted to cut a song and I wanted to get something into the world. So uh, that's what uh, Somewhere Blue is. And we had a, a video for it. And it's been getting some very nice feedback, I feel like. And uh, it was just, it was fun to do. It was fun to get something going, not knowing that the pandemic was coming and we were, about to get pretty well shut down, so uh, we were happy to, to have cut these and got in kind of under the wire. Chris Berardo joins us today here on our big program. Now, you have done some extensive touring support for the Doobie Brothers, as well as America, Marshall Tucker Band. Talk to me about these experiences. Oh, you know, so the, those are the uh, lovely parts of this racket. <laughs> um, those are the bands you just mentioned, for instance, are just really some of my very, very favorites growing up, the people I really uh, most admired. And most of our experiences like that like, have been, you know, just great. It's, it's the old story. They say the bigger guys are usually the nicer ones. And that those ones you mentioned there are all people that uh, were just great to be around, uh, to be able to play. You know, it's a real honor to somebody's been on the road 40, 50 years, and they have all those hits, and then they let you play your songs for their audience for an hour and uh it's it's a it's it's something nice so those those were all great experiences for us we've done a, you know a bunch of shows with with each of those bands and hope to do more um and mostly then after we got a free ticket to see you know the dv brothers or <laughs> or america we get to watch the show every night which is fun so um that's been a great thing that's been something because uh I'm finding that those bands I kind of grew up on loving, uh, you know, obviously that music has to affect what I do. So when I play my songs for people and they're there to see those bands, it generally feels like you know, we're in the same uh, place. You know, that it's, it's, there's a good chance that we might uh, find a, an audience that, that accepts it there. So that's, that's been um, fun, and I, just, I hope to do more of it, definitely. Chris Berardo with us today, talking a little bit about his version of Baby Blue that is out there right now. Now, you also are creating a lot of music. You, you, you've been doing a lot of music down in Austin, which was uh, prior and during the, uh, the, the lockdown. Tell me a little bit about working with some of the music folks down in Austin. Well, Austin's a great, you know, it is really one of the uh, great music towns. And when we were touring all over you know, lots of places, but it always more so that we'd always spend an, uh, in or in amount of time in all over Texas. Uh, it just seems yeah. like it's a real musical environment. You know, they, they've got a real beautiful industry of their own going there, you know, like uh, about of Texas music and so many great players. The same way Nashville is, but it's a different, you know, it just seems like more uh, of the great uh, kind of players that are a little more what I grew up with, just a little bit edgy and uh, maybe not as mainstream. But, but it, it's just one of those real good uh, music towns, great venues, 
and and tons of good uh, players. Some of my favorite acts in the world are based there. So we found ourselves there more and more often. And as I got, like I said, as we toured with Reckless Kelly, we were out with them for two weeks at one point, and that's when the idea struck uh, with David and I about him producing it. So we went back down there to to make a record. So between uh, touring and just uh, all the friendships that we have down there now and all the great venues, and then going back and forth to to do all this recording, I had found myself spending nearly half my time at some point um, in and around Austin. And we tour all through the rest of the state. It's so big, you know, once you get down there, you might as well get to it. So we uh, will usually get all through Dallas and Houston and San Antonio and out what they call it, the hill country there. So um, you can spend, you know, eight days to maybe two weeks just uh, just playing gigs in Texas alone. Uh, and so we've started to focus more on that and, and go back more than we go to other places, uh, do some acoustic smaller shows, go back and do a show with the whole band and just because we like it and the beer is cold and the tacos are good and <laughs> it seems to be something, something we like. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, well, Chris, <laughs> but before we let you go, my friend, how do we get a hold of you online, uh, buy your new record, everything? Well, anywhere. I mean, honestly, you know, thanks. That's one good thing about the world and technology is you can quite literally go any place you get music. And if you can spell my name, which is the tricky part, then you can uh, you can find it uh, there. You know, if you went to chrisberardo.com, uh, obviously you can find everything there. But any any place you go, um, you know, Apple Music or um, Spotify or uh, quite literally anything. I mean, I'm, I feel confident about if you if you give it a try, you'll be able to find it and um, give it give it a try. I would appreciate it. It will make uh, me happy and it would make my mom happy. <laughs> you could go buy a, buy a couple copies. So, but almost anywhere you get your music, you can find it. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on the program, and uh, looking forward to chatting with you soon. Good, good luck with everything, and uh, we will Absolutely. talk to you soon. I appreciate you being with us, my friend. You too, James. I appreciate it too. I really do. And uh, yeah, have a good day, and I, and I hope we'll get back with you soon. Thanks for the time. Definitely. Thank you, Chris. Have yourself a wonderful day, right. sir. Appreciate it. There he goes. Chris Berardo.